Now the management of neonatal hypoglycemia would depend upon whether the baby is symptomatic or asymptomatic, right? So it will depend upon whether the baby is symptomatic, okay? The baby is having some symptoms because of hypoglycemia or not, right? So symptomatic or asymptomatic, right? Now, if the baby is symptomatic, you don't wait, okay? So, you straight away give a IV dextrose bolus. So, how much uh, dextrose do we give usually? So, if the baby is symptomatic and is having neonatal hypoglycemia, we will give IV 10% dextrose at the rate of 2 ml per kg. So, we will give 2 ml per kg of 10% dextrose. So, that is given as a bolus. That means a quick push injection okay intravenously followed by you start IV fluid okay dextrose containing IV fluid obviously and usually we start at a GIR of 6 milligram per kg per minute. What do you mean by this GIR? So GIR basically refers to the glucose infusion rate glucose infusion rate Right? We initially start at around 6 mg per kg per minute and we keep on monitoring the blood glucose of the baby. If the blood glucose of the baby is coming in the normal range, then gradually we decrease the GIR and stop the IV fluids. But if the baby is continuing to have hypoglycemia, even at 6 mg per kg per minute, we can increase the GIR. We can go to 8 mg per kg per minute or 10 mg per kg per minute or 12 mg per kg per minute and so on. Okay, So basically you have to Continue blood glucose monitoring, okay, continue blood glucose monitoring and titrate the IV fluid, how much rate you want to give based on the blood glucose values, okay. So, and titrate GIR based on blood glucose values, right. So that is how you manage a symptomatic baby. So if a baby is asymptomatic and you've picked up hypoglycemia while routine blood glucose monitoring in a high risk baby, like at 6 hours you checked the blood glucose and it you know came out to be say 10 or 15 milligram per dl, then how do you manage? So in an asymptomatic baby, we categorize it as blood glucose less than 20 milligram per dl, okay, less than 20 milligram per dl or blood glucose between 20 to 40 milligram per dl, right? If the blood glucose is less than 20 milligram per dl, what you do is you start IV fluids, okay? So start a GIR of 6 mg per kg per minute and continue blood glucose monitoring and titrate GIR based on the blood glucose values, right? But if the blood glucose is between 20 to 40 milligram per dl and the baby is asymptomatic, so blood glucose is between 20 to 40 milligram per dl, and the baby is asymptomatic, what do you do? Offer a feed to the baby, okay? So, express breast milk can be given or baby can directly breastfeed, okay? So, offer a feed to the baby and recheck blood glucose after 30 minutes to 1 hour, okay? And recheck blood glucose after 30 minutes to 1 hour, okay? Now, Two possibilities are there. Either the blood glucose is going to come normal or it is still low. Okay. So, blood glucose if it is still low. Okay. So, still blood glucose is low then what will you do? You will start IV fluids. Okay. And manage as you are managing a symptomatic baby. Okay. But if the blood glucose is normal now, then what will you do? You continue frequent feeding and blood glucose monitoring. Nothing else needs to be done. Okay. So, continue blood glucose monitoring and frequent feeding. Right. So, that is how you manage a baby with neonatal hypoglycemia.